Welcome to an introduction to public libraries. This video is brought to you by the Leadership in Education Subcommittee and the Professional Development Committee of the New Jersey Library Association. We're going to talk about some of the issues facing libraries today, as well as what librarians can expect to find once they are in the field. What is a public library? Public libraries are defined as having been established under state enabling laws or regulators to serve a community, district, or region. They provide many necessary functions to that community, including an organized collection of printed or other library materials, paid staff, a schedule in which those items are available to the public, facilities to support the staff and collection, and they are supported by public funds. Organization within. There are different ways that a library can be organized. Many counties have a library system that is run through the county and pools together their resources. They can also be organized nationally or across a state and even on the community level. Organization within a library. Organization also changes because of the size of the library, the hierarchy within, and whether or not the librarians are a part of a civil service union. Smaller libraries tend to be more generalized and have less of a hierarchy, whereas larger systems will have a bigger hierarchy to work within. Differences between communities. Other factors also come into play to emphasize the differences between communities. Depending on where the library's funding comes from, the budget can be affected, which affects what positions are available. For instance, not every library has a teen services librarian. The focus of the library also matters because one library might be entirely digital and another library may have many users who cannot use a computer. Their demographics also greatly affect the focus of the library, like whether or not it is urban or rural. Services provided. Services provided by any given library vary, but adult services cater to those above 18 and can range from adults just out of high school to older adults. New services can also serve a wide range from zero to 18 years old, and in some libraries are split into children's and young adult services. Career services are provided by many libraries to help users find jobs and technology assistance, such as e-reader help, can get patrons who may be confused by e-readers to start using digital books. Pros. There are real benefits to implementing these changes at your library. The community will become more engaged with you and will feel more comfortable with coming to you and your librarians for help. There are also plenty of opportunities for collaboration and it allows for mobility into the community as a part of outreach. Cons. Some possible cons to the plan include a lack of support from your board or from the community in general. If you do not have the support of one or the other, funding may be limited, and to be fully effective, some funding is necessary. In conclusion, libraries vary in size and organization all over the country. However, libraries all offer comparable services, no matter how big or how small.